guys, it's Brian from Crash Course Camera again, and this is just a quick segment to tell you the difference between zoom and prime lenses. I'm sure you've heard people talking about this, and maybe you're thinking, I know what a zoom is, but what's a prime? A zoom is indeed the one that most people know about. It's just a lens that by moving a ring on the outside of the lens body is able to cover a range of focal lengths, or in beginner's terms, the area in and around a subject that you see when you're looking through your camera's viewfinder. Um, inexpensive but excellent zooms are often included in a lot of beginner and mid-level DSLR camera kits like these guys. That's because they're especially versatile and can cover literally any style of photography. The zooms you see most often in Canon and Nikon kits are 18 to 55 like this guy or 18 to 135 like this guy. Prime on the other hand is a term that describes a lens that only has one focal length. For example, a 50 millimeter prime only sees the world at 50 millimeters. It doesn't have the mechanical stuff inside or outside that allow it to zoom in or out on a subject. You have to use your feet for that when you're shooting with primes. And while that might seem like a downside, it's actually not. Generally, primes have fewer moving parts and less glass in them for the light to get through and for that reason are generally considered more pure and capable of producing very pristine images. They're often also referred to as faster lenses, which is to say they are capable of larger aperture sizes represented by a smaller aperture number, which is nice for more blur in a background or for faster shutter speeds and a million other uses. Most modern zooms, even cheap ones, are pretty damn great and Depending on the lens, you might be hard pressed to tell the difference between identical shots from a prime and a zoom shot at the same focal length. So that's it. Zooms, zoom in and out, primes, don't. Now, what for exercises this time? Go grab a lens or two and go shoot. If you have a zoom and a prime, take them both and go compare them by shooting the same shot at the same focal length as your prime and analyze what happens. Look at the photo and see how it's different. See if you can tell the difference. Ask your friends if they can tell the difference. So that's it, very straightforward. If you wanna keep getting better at your photography, just subscribe to this channel. It's the red subscribe button below. And then go to Facebook, join the Crash Course Camera Group, and share and post your practice photos because you're gonna get a ton of feedback for free in real time with all the other folks who are working on it just like you. And I'll be there to help you out too. Cool? Rock on.